What's good, YouTube? So I was just riding, enjoying this road, man, getting my thoughts together, doing my thinking. So yeah, I was thinking, man, like, I never, I never again ever want to be an employee. Like, and I want to give a, give a disclaimer, first of all, before I get started. Give a disclaimer, like, this is not talking bad on nobody who's an employee or nothing like that. If you like being an employee, good for you, more power to you. Speaking from my opinion and my experience and telling you why I would never want to ever be an employee. And maybe this will encourage you to want to be a, uh, to work for yourself or be a, uh, a contractor, to, you know what I'm saying, be a subcontractor to start yourself into working for yourself or have dreams or aspirations to be an entrepreneur. But so, why I never ever again want to be an employee, man, first of all, Every time I had a job, the whole first of all, the whole benefits of what they say uh, is the reason for being an employee is like insurance, take taxes out, stuff like that, right? So every time I had a job and they offered the insurance, I never used it anyway. I always had my own insurance. So for me, that was a waste. And every time I looked at their insurance, it was always seemed to be higher. It was like $10, $15 higher than me getting it on my own. So... That's one X to cross out. Second, they take the taxes out for you, yes, but if you have dreams of being your own boss, of being independent, you need to learn how to how taxes work anyway. So it's like if somebody holding your hand doing something, you never gonna fully learn to grasp the information you need to know when it's time to go out there. So if anybody having dreams, like I said, being an entrepreneur. It's really best that you start out being a contractor for bigger companies so you can get all that beginner experience with how taxes work. And you can start an LLC if you wanted to while you a contractor and have, you know what I'm saying, get, get your business some uh, years of experience. I mean, get your get your business to have some, uh, some, 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 ba some years on it, basically, before you're even jumping out there. So, like, that's another added benefit. Like, when you're an employee, you can't do none of this stuff. You can't do none of that. Like, it's all, they all giving everything. It's like, they bringing the meal to you on the plate. I'm the type of dude, I want to go out there and go find my meal. You know what I'm saying? Go hunt for mine, work for mine, figure out how to get it, learn the skill set so I can do it on my own. I never like nobody holding my hand with doing something because it hinders you in the long run. It stops you from ever advancing for real and i always had dreams of an entrepreneur so me being a contractor which i am right now like i don't have my own truck but i'm a contractor so i can basically learn how the taxes how to you know what I'm how the taxes work how to uh i can start my llc now which i'm already doing but in the process of doing now so when it's time to get my own truck i can just go ahead you know what i'm saying bouncing i already have that uh that time on my llc And also, like, the benefit of not having your company take your taxes out, you doing it on your own. Like, what I, the way I do it, basically, is I did my research on how much um, I projected, how much I projected to make by the end of the year so, so I can know what tax bracket I fall in. And then I took the percentage. I looked at the percentage for my state tax and then the federal tax, and I, I basically put that in the um, – High yield savings account. Basically, it, it it gives you a little bit more dividends than a, a regular standard bank bank account. It's still not a lot, but it gives you more. So basically, what I do is I take the percentage out of my check off the top. As soon as I get it, just as if another, uh, just as if I was W two, how they would do. Take it off top, just how they do. Put it in the, uh, the, the high yield savings account, and then I give myself my money or whatever. So basically, all my money that's stocking up for my taxes, just like a, a, another company would do, I'm getting interest on that. I'm collecting interest on that. So as the money keeps stacking out the year, because there's going to be a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? you putting putting that money to the side, the taxes. It's going to be, by the end of the year, it's going to be about, depending on how much money you make, 10, 15, 20,000 just sitting in the bank. And you're getting interest on that, so you're making money off of that. But also, you can do, 
like I said, like I said, I'm setting up my LLC now. So basically, you uh, when you're a contractor, you can get your, your the people you're working for to pay you through your LLC. It's your business bank account and all that stuff. So basically, I'm about to have my company check going through my business bank, and then I'm gonna pay myself through that. Like I said, just giving giving your uh, business some years on it, so you're not looking like a new new entity when you jump out there. So these is all the all the benefits of being a, a, a contractor that you just don't see when you are an employee. Like that's I'm like I would never ever 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 go back to being an employee ever again. Like if I had something to do with it, <laughs> God willing, if I had something to do with it. Of course, if I got no choice, you know what I'm saying? Need a paycheck, got family feed, you gonna go out there and get a job. But I just see way more benefits for me personally, and maybe you will see them also. But I see way more benefits, me personally, as being a contractor versus being an employee. Because I never use none of the stuff that they offer anyway. So it's like, that that right there is enough, let alone is enough for me to not ever want to be an employee. Because I never use none of the, the stuff, the benefits that they're giving you. I always have my own stuff because, and the reason why I, why I always have my own stuff is because I never wanted to, because I basically change jobs. Like, I've never been one of those type of people that stay at one job for a long time. I basically stay at a job maybe like a year. Each job I get, I start a new job every year. I'm always trying to level up. So I always know that I'm going to be changing jobs often. So I never wanted to have to keep finding new insurance through another company. Uh, say if I leave six months or something before the little um, insurance thing is over with. I never wanted to have to keep... Um, Every time I start a new job, go through the insurance company. I never had to worry about that. I wanted to always just have my own already available and stuff, so I never had to worry about that when the time come around. So that that was all. Excuse me. So that was the whole reason why I never used insurance, and then it, just, it didn't never make sense. They is always seem more expensive. But yeah, like I said, once again, a little disclaimer: I ain't trying to offend nobody. You know what I'm saying, just telling you why I. Me personally would never go back to if I had to if I had something to do with it, I would never go back to uh, being an employee. I would either be a contractor or be working for my own business, working for myself. So yeah. A little something to think about. I'll holler at y'all.